Hello everyone. The following is a follow-up experiment regarding the effectiveness of raspberry seed essential oil when being used as a sunscreen. In the previous test, as you can see, I used a simple black light to show how children's sunscreen absorbs UV light in our bathroom, and we can see how this happens as the sunscreen appears as a black dot in a black light room on the paper due to the fact that it's absorbing the UV light that's emitted by that black light. We also see how the raspberry seed oil uh, allows the UV light to pass right through the paper even though it's rated as having an SPF value almost equal to that of normal toxic sunscreen that people typically use. You can see this explained on sites like Body Unburdened, uh, Wellness Mama, and uh, other essential oil evangelist sites and literature. So after I posted the video, I had a few people state that there are other ways that substances like raspberry seed oil could shield our skin from UV light, which include absorption, reflection, and scattering. They cited the following 2000 study in the Food Chemistry Journal by B. Dave Uma called Characteristics of Raspberry uh, Seed Oil, or Rubus Ideas, which clearly states that Raspberry seed oil has an SPF factor almost equal to that of titanium dioxide, which is a common ingredient in other sunscreens and makeup. Now that seems like some pretty hard evidence, but my previous experiment in the bathroom didn't appear to agree with it. Uh, the study does list that UV absorption is uh, one of the ways that raspberry seed oil offers uh, in terms of UV protection, and I'd be a little convinced if some UV protection occurred uh, where we saw just some of it absorb uh, the UV light and the black light, but I saw nothing of the sort. You can see the light passing straight through the paper. So I tried to think of a test that would account for all three methods of UV protection listed in the study. Absorption, reflection, and scattering. And what I discovered was cyanotype sunprint paper. This special paper is covered in a mixture of potassium ferrocyanide and ferric ammonium citrate which reacts to UV light exposure. After a short cook in front of a UV source like a lamp or the sun, submerging the paper in water will stop the reaction, and anything that shows up as blue is what was exposed to UV light. Anything in white wasn't. So this is the perfect test, which should tell us how effective raspberry seed oil is for UV protection using the three methods of UV protection that I listed before, which was absorption, reflection, and scattering. So in this experiment, I stretch a piece of plastic wrap over the paper so that the sunblock on the raspberry seed oil doesn't saturate the paper. I apply a small blob of children's SPF 40 sunblock and about seven to eight drops of raspberry seed oil. And then I leave them in the California sun for a good five to six minutes. And after this, I take it in and drench it in tap water to stop the reaction and then let it dry. As we can see, the results are pretty self-explanatory. The children's sunscreen shows up as a white blob on the page because it's effectively absorbed the UV light from the sun. This is precisely how it protects your skin, you know, as UVA and UVB radiation from the sun is absorbed, it doesn't burn your skin, it doesn't uh, cause any skin damage, uh, which ultimately can result in cancerous growths later in life. The raspberry seed oil, on the other hand, seems to offer no protection whatsoever, as the area it was supposed to protect is dark blue, indicating full UV exposure, and this is not good. So here we have two simple field tests that refute this study, one in my bathroom and the other one in my porch. It's a shame to see that people are putting their health at risk by believing this nonsense, and it's unfortunate that this calls into question the veracity of anything written by UMA and the Food Chemistry Journal. Uh, thanks for watching, and please feel free to comment uh, below. I look forward to hearing what you guys have to say. Like and subscribe if you can. Thanks.